Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Effortless Fashion. If this is your first time joining, I'm your host Corey. Today we're going to discuss the lapel pin and the boutonniere. On to the intro. The word boutonniere is actually a French word, which actually means buttonhole. It's actually a lapel pin, but the difference is it's made from a real flower. And it's normally worn to events like a wedding, a graduation, or a prom. And it's been around from about the 15th century. As to who actually started it, it that's still a mystery. Its primary purpose, just like the pocket square I discussed last week, is to dress up an outfit. On the other hand now, a lapel pin is a small pin that is of course worn on the lapel of the jacket. Sometimes even a vest as well if the vest comes with a lapel. And they come in a very wide variety. And unlike the boutonniere that's used for formal occasions, the lapel pin can be worn on any occasion at all. It's not restricted to that. There are several types of lapel pin. The first would be the floral lapel pin, which would resemble a boutonniere. The difference is this flower is actually fake. And it comes in a variety of patterns. And this would be an example of a floral lapel pin. Like I said, it looks like a boutonniere, but the difference is this flower is actually fake, not real. And these are normally made from materials like silk, linen, satin, or even felt, just to name a few. A lapel pin can also be made of metal, like the one I'm wearing right here, or from even precious stones. It could be a real diamond or a fake diamond, which would be called zirconium. Like I said, the variety is very wide. Another type of lapel pin is called the badge, which is sometimes called the enamel pin. These are very small and are normally used in places like the military, police force, or even political parties. This is actually an example of one. Very small, as you can see here. It pins right onto the lapel. Now lapel pins come with various types of fasteners. That would be actually be the attachment on the back that attaches it to the jacket. The most popular ones being, number one, the stick pin, an example of which is right here, which has a collar which is attached to the pointy end and then attached to the jacket, as you can see here. And of course, that would secure it in place. Number two would be the military or the butterfly clutch. And this is normally on the smaller lapel pins, like this one for example. The back of which has a sharp point that is attached to the butterfly clutch. And when the butterfly clutch is squeezed, as you can see here, you can either put it on when it is squeezed or squeeze it again to release it. It's very simple to use. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this. And at number three, we have the screw and nut, which is the least popular of the three, but is one of the most secure. The point is threaded so the nut can screw into place, thereby firmly holding the lapel in place. And lastly, as for how to wear the lapel pin or boutonniere. The first thing to remember is that the boutonniere or the lapel pin is always worn on the left side, which is above the heart. To wear a boutonniere, remember that this is a real flower so it doesn't come with a pin. So what you will have to do is use your lapel buttonhole, which is located here. Remember that this is a real flower, so you actually have to push it through the buttonhole. If the buttonhole is sewn shut, you simply get something like a razor blade or a box cutter and gently cut it open. Be careful when cutting it open, you don't want to go too far and ruin the material or fabric. As for how to hold the boutonniere behind the lapel without it showing, some jackets come with a latch behind the lapel that actually is there to hold that stem in place. This is normally in the more expensive jackets. But if your jacket doesn't have one, you can use a simple hack, which is to use a piece of tape and just tape it behind there. No, no one will notice. If your jacket doesn't come with a buttonhole, you simply use a pin to attach it. As for the lapel pin, in particular the one with the stick pin, there are two ways you can wear this. Number one, you can let the end of the stick show, which would be like the one I'm wearing right here, where I push it through and then push it through again, so it let the end part show. Or number two, you can keep the pin behind the lapel. The first is my favorite. And for this type of lapel pin, you don't need a buttonhole. If you're wearing a floral lapel pin, ensure that it's not too big. If it's too big, you're gonna end up looking like a clown. You need to keep it proportional to the outfit that you're wearing. Also, do not match patterns. As in, if the floral lapel pin that you're wearing has a pattern on it, don't match a pattern with the tie that you're wearing or with the pocket square that you're wearing. It'll look amateurish. They should complement each other or be in contrast. And if you're wearing a metal lapel pin like the one I'm wearing here, a good rule of thumb is to match your metals and what I mean by that is if you're wearing gold here in the lapel pin your accessories should be gold as well so for example I'm wearing gold here and the watch I'm wearing right now has a gold accent on it if I were to be wearing earrings the earrings should be gold chain 
chain should be gold as well. You get the picture. This isn't a must, but it will actually make you look way more uniform. But well, that's it for today. You know the drill. If you learned something today or like the video, hit the thumbs up button below here. And if you have any questions or so, drop it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer you. Also guys, remember if you haven't subscribed as yet, hit the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I drop a new video. As well as follow me on Instagram at effortless underscore fashion and that's fashion with two ends. So till next time guys. Stay stylish.